Hello my friends and welcome back. I am back with yet another monthly grocery haul for our large family of 11. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kim. I am a mom of nine kids ranging in age from three all the way up to 18. My husband works from home. We homeschool all of our children. So we are home all the time, which means we eat at home all the time and we eat a lot of food. <laughs> we try to eat as healthy as possible. We do buy convenience items. My son and I were recently in an accident and because of that, we have had doctor's appointments and therapies and different things going on. So, so I did take advantage this time and I did get us some, some more convenience items than normal um, just because I am gone more often than normal back and forth to doctor's appointments and things like that. This is a season right now where I need to have a little help and I am okay with doing that. So you might notice that I am not sweating today. I am not completely exhausted and it is not nine o'clock at night. Why is that you ask? Because grocery delivery. Oh, it's literally the best thing ever. I don't know why I have not been taking advantage of this before. Um, today I had my entire Sam's order delivered as well as my entire Walmart order, which is the bulk of all of our things. So that was amazing. My um, Walmart order came this morning between eight and nine and my Sam's order between 10 and 12. Um, so that's just been amazing. And, uh, I'm definitely, definitely doing this from now on. I did miss, however, being able to like look around in the stores, but I think to stay on budget, um, and this helped me to plan because I really needed to like, I couldn't wing it at the store. So anyway, super excited about that. Um, I will show you guys, or tell you guys all of our totals at the end. I also did a United Grocery Outlet and a little bit of Kroger. I'll show you guys those things as well, but let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off with Walmart here. I'll give you a quick overview of everything we got at Walmart. And then I will give you guys all of the totals at the end here. Okay, so moving through this, we have six gallons of milk. I'm hoping this will last us two weeks. I'm not sure if it will or not. And then we'll go back in two weeks if we need to. We got six big boxes of the um, great value, like Honey Nut Cheerios. So this is the only kind of cereal that we're doing now. I'm trying to get rid of the sugar cereal and that's been going well. I only have one child who does not really truly does not like this. And she's been making herself um, like a bagel or something on the days where we have that. Two gallons of the Arnold Palmer mix. This is for my teens as a special drink. We have six, yeah, six pounds of the fettuccine noodles and eight pounds, yes, eight pounds of the spaghetti noodles six big jugs of the applesauce um which i thought was interesting how they're such different colors i looked to see if maybe this one was cinnamon so it must just be the different kind of apples and then a big thing of the french vanilla heavy or creamer for my teens six cans of the cream of chicken soup um which i use in my chicken noodle soup and a different a few different things i don't actually need these but i'm trying to keep things stocked up four big things of the nutella same with that do not need them right now probably won't this month but trying to build up two things of the roasted and salted pecans my husband and i like these for snacks two bags of the chocolate animal crackers they just go in our cookie jar um, for little treats um, every now and then three large cans of the enchilada sauce i'm going to be making some enchiladas hopefully i'll get some more um meal videos out for you guys too uh, this coming month a big jug of the lemonade because just the season here it is getting warm and the kids will want to do lemonade stands and all of that fun stuff this is a big bag of the starbucks french roast coffee whole bean that's what my husband uses and then one thing of thousand island dressing i like to dip my pizza in it um, sun-dried tomato pesto for one of our pasta recipes and basil pesto also for a pasta recipe um, one 12 pack slice of the um, sliced sharp cheddar so when we do burgers a couple of our little girls um, think that this pepper jack is too spicy so I got this to use for them and then we got three 24 packs of the sliced pepper jack so we use this for hamburgers and different things a chicken dish that I have coming up one box of the buttery smooth crackers just for something different and two boxes of the normal like butter crackers it's equivalent to like a Ritz we use this for like homemade lunchables three boxes of our vanilla wafers um 12 boxes of this thick and creamy mac and cheese so i actually used to buy this when malachi and bella were little 
and they loved it and we have not had it in probably honestly 10 years and somehow I wound up with two boxes of it I don't remember if it was like from a discount store or what but it was on our shelf and we made it the other day and everybody loved it and honestly I did too I thought it was really good for boxed mac and cheese so I grabbed 12 of these just to have for maybe a lunch one day or um just a backup if we need it 20 pounds of potatoes for some different meals this month five of the big containers of ketchup these are huge these are what 64 ounces yeah so four pounds for 20 pounds of ketchup there and maybe it'll last us a month <laughs> And then over here, these are some like just household items. I needed a three hole punch. I'm putting together um, a recipe binder um, and that is all I was missing. A 40 count box of the gallon storage bags, uh, my eyeliner, concealer, and um, foundation that I wear. A big box of the heavy duty bandages. Um, two boxes of our native toothpaste, a two pack of the toilet bowl cleaner, um, the clear dish soap. I use this for my laundry for like stain treatment. Um, if you have grease stains on your clothes, if you just put a little bit of this clear detergent on it and just let it sit, you can scrub it. I never do. I just put the clear dish soap on the grease stain and then I just throw it back in the basket um, or you can throw it right into the wash and it gets it out every single time. It's amazing. If for any reason it doesn't get it out, run it through one more time doing the exact same thing. Two pack of our dish scrubbers. Um, our, I think we're on our last one. Um, one of the big large pumps of the two-in-one, a, a two-pack of the shampoo conditioner with the pumps. Um, this is the dry shampoo I've been using. I really like it. It's for dark hair. This was supposed to be B100. Um, I believe they substituted this, so I'll have to check that out. This is um, a texture powder that a couple of my guys use. Um, the native deodorant. And then two boxes of hair dye for Mama's Grays. And then this is just like a, a 20 piece like bungee cord set. Our trampoline, um, some of the, the netting is falling off or whatever clips it came with. So my husband just wanted some bungee cords to be able to fix those. And this had a variety of sizes. So I felt like it was probably the safest option. This is just a bag of like the polyfill. Um, all of the, her little bear bear that she's had since she was born. Um, is missing some stuff and she's been asking me for a few weeks now if I could get that and I said I promise I'll get it when I order our groceries so that's what this is we're going to fill up bear bear back up to how it's supposed to be this is a five um five dozen box of eggs so cool thing about the eggs because I just found out that somebody from our church has um hicken hickens no they do not have hickens they have chickens <laughs> and they are laying and laying well um and she has like the multicolored eggs and all that so she's going to start bringing them to me on sundays to church and i'm just going to buy um several dozen each week from her so i didn't need as many a big box of our um pull-ups for our, our little gray i believe i'm hoping and praying this is going to be our last box she is doing really well but I, I know I'm still going to want some for um, outings on occasion and at nighttime until we're good to go there. Um, and then a big box of the wipes because we use these in all different areas of our lives. Two packages of the hot dog buns. I'm going to be making hamburger buns. I would hope to make bread and bagels as well. But I know how life has been lately. And um, after our accident and all the different appointments and therapies that we have going on, um, I have to be realistic and that I may or may not get to it. So I did order six loaves of bread um, that will get us through um, to maybe, hopefully I can make bread, but we'll see. And I did order 10 packages of the bagels because we have been consuming a lot of bagels. The kids love them. They freeze very well. So if I get to make homemade bagels, they're not going to go to waste. Um, but I have them and then I don't have to make another trip to the store, which is what I'm really trying to avoid. Um, staying out of the store this month. I've been doing really well um, and so I'm going to try to keep it up. So one last look at our Walmart haul here and then again I will give all the totals for the different stores at the end. I'm going to get this stuff put away and I'll show you guys Sam's. Okay I will give you a quick overview of our Sam's haul here and then I will go over the items with you. Okay, so ground beef, we were running very, very low on that. So I had, let's see, what are these? I believe these are five pounds. Yeah, approximately five pounds. So it winds up being 12 packages, but it's about 20 pounds of ground beef. 
I like these because I can just separate them and then I can pull out one or two depending on what we're having. The Go-Gurts were actually on sale. I think they were $4 off. So I got three boxes of these. My kids will be very happy. We have run out every single month. So they'll be happy to have that. Um, a big thing of the heavy cream, this is 64 ounces of that. We use it for, or my husband uses it for his coffee, but we use it for like homemade sauces. Um, three two packs of the orange juice, four two pound blocks of the extra sharp cheddar. I did think this was white cheddar, so I'm a little bit bummed about that, but it's okay, we will still use it. So eight pounds total there. Um, two of the large boxes of the orange chicken. We love that. Um, my son Lincoln has been, or he did make it from scratch once, so we will probably do that again, but I wanted to have this on hand because it's kind of like a fast food meal if we need it one night rather than going out. Um, a large um, block of the Parmesan cheese for grating. Um, and then let's see, this is, I'm going to say it's oh, six pounds of the Angus style beef patties. I think you get, yeah, 18 of them in there. So it's getting warm here in the um, Knoxville area where we live. We've had some 70, almost even 80 degree days. Um, it's actually cold today, but we will start grilling and doing more things like that. One box of the little mini pizza bagels. The kids just like that for treats or snacks sometimes like just every now and then. It's just something fun I try to get for them every now and then. Six of the bell peppers. A big bag, I believe it's three pounds of the broccoli. Six pack of the romaine hearts. Um, there's not a lot of vegetables, do not worry, but there is a lot more in our fridge. So I've had to go several times for some fill-ins and um, I've been using, or I've been shopping the Kroger deals. So as things go on sale at Kroger, um, and they had a lot of produce, I can show you guys that in the fridge, like strawberries and um, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so this is not everything that we will be consuming, so don't worry. Um, I also did buy, this is something I normally don't buy or haven't bought in a very long time actually, is the little mini pancakes. You get 200 of those. Again, this is strictly for convenience because um, my son and I are leaving in the mornings for therapy, and so I need things that are easy um, and that the kids are able to do themselves when necessary. Um, also, a box of waffles for the same reason. This is the honey almond granola. I had this stocked up and we just used our last bag. Um, I eat this with some bananas and strawberries. Um, a lot of my kids like it that way as well. Two boxes of the goldfish because one is just no longer lasting us for the entire month, especially when we have outings because it's typically the easiest thing for me to grab and bring with us. Um, one box of the Hershey's triple chocolate brownie mix. This stuff is amazing, and anytime we have an event that we have to go to and I have to bring something, I will usually do some kind of a main dish, and then I make a giant um, cookie sheet worth of the brownies. And so they're just really yummy, um, and I think it's a really good deal. Two of the two packs of the large ranch. I believe we're on our last bottle of that. A two pack of the grape jelly. We are not out of this, but I, again, I like to keep things stocked up. A two pack of the instant dry yeast. We are running very low on that and I want to start baking as more as I have the time to do so, haha. -ha. Um, a two pack of the spray olive oil, a big old jug of the regular, just extra virgin olive oil. We use the olive oil um, for baking, like in place of like vegetable oil or something like that. And then we use avocado oil for cooking, um, but we didn't need that this time. A big bag of seasoned croutons. We were almost completely out of the bag I bought many, many months ago at Costco. Um, a big bag of the pretzel crisp. My kids love those. And I think we just opened um, our last bag from the last one. So we should be good with that. Big thing of the Parmesan cheese. We use this in um, our homemade Alfredo sauce, as well as like the kids just like it on spaghetti and things like that. A two pack of the Hershey syrup. My teens like to have a glass of chocolate milk after their workouts. A big thing of the syrup, uh, just pancake syrup, because we were running low. A big box, let's see, what do you get of these? 32 bags of the um, popcorn. We have a lot of popcorn lovers here. And then these foil pans, it's a 36 pack of these foil pans. Um, I am making some freezer meals and some different things. And I like to do like my muffins and things like that in bulk and then freeze them so that we don't have to have um, like store-bought food all the time. Um, and so this is just one way that when I get time, I can bake up a bunch of stuff or prepare a few meals 
and put it away in the freezer. So I knew I was out of pans for that. We do try to reuse them, um, but you know, just after a while, they can't be reused anymore. Sometimes the kids forget and they throw them away, which is no big deal. Um, there, I think it's ten dollars for thirty-six of these. So. We try to do the best we can with it. Um, a big box of the six pounds of the tortilla chips. This will mostly be used for nachos or if we have company over, we might do like chips and salsa um, or something like that. And then a big thing of the all laundry pods and a big box of the Oxy Clean. I, I seem to be going through about one box of this a month. And this does not, we don't go through the entire thing in a month, but I do like to have some as backup. So this is everything that was delivered to us today from Sam's. I do have um, the Sam's stuff that was shipped and I will show you guys that as well. Okay, it's the next day and our Sam's order came so I wanted to show you guys that. And um, this is the Sam's shipping order that came. So um, the 36 count of the Scott tissue, the paper towels, which is I believe you have 15 rolls, three containers of the melatonin no we don't use all of this this that fast um however it was like five or six dollars off i'm going to say per bottle so i just grabbed three um the soy sauce you had to purchase two you can't get the soy sauce in store which is why i had to do the shipping um and so you had to purchase two so i just did that and then the shout was also an online only thing hang on guys the shout was also an online only thing and if you're curious why i had the other stuff shipped it's because um you could only have 500 dollars limit for delivery and so these are the things i needed to get rid of to make that 500 dollars. and then i believe the all three of these items were only available um online this time for whatever reason so that is all of the sam shipping okay also not included that your things that you're not seeing here um is the Kroger total, which I will give you in a minute, we included nine pounds of apples, four pounds of strawberries, four pounds of grapes, 10 pounds of beef tenderloin, which was a great deal at Sam's, two large well-caught salmon, 30 pounds of butter also was on sale for a great deal, and five frozen pizzas. Possibly 10 on there, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then at Grocery Outlet, there was six packs of tortillas, three packs of turkey deli meat, and 15 pounds of bacon and some canned peas. For the items that we had delivered from Sam's, our total was $537.42. Um, for the items we had shipped from Sam's was $115.02. The Walmart delivery was $509.17, Grocery Outlet was $59.94, and Kroger was $239.27, so that brought our total to $1,460.82. In our freezers we also do have like a lot of other meat so this is not our only meat it's not our only vegetables um you know like i said we will be getting more eggs from my friend at church and then we will probably go back in two weeks for more fresh produce and milk if need be um so yeah that's basically it we do the best we can we try to eat most of our meals at home we try to make a lot of things from scratch when possible um but you know sometimes you're in a season of life and there's other things going on and you just have to do the best you can and that's okay too so fed is better than nothing and so that's where we're at this month i hope you guys have a blessed day and we will see you next time bye-bye